Hey y'all, welcome to Our New Barbecue. I'm Richard, glad you could join me today. Well, today we're gonna do a quick walkthrough on how to put the Titans Great Outdoors Santa Maria style attachment together. It's only $99 when you can get it while it's in stock. It goes very quickly when it is in stock because the next Santa Maria style attachment is $200 by Gabby's Grills. So this one, like I say, you gotta catch it while it's in stock. Thank you, Dr. Taste Good, for reminding me to make this video. So let's go ahead and get started. Now I went ahead and repackaged this. It's not as nice and neat as it was when I first got it, but it's as close to as when it was when I got it. We got the grate. Got the spindle. Got the handle. Got the hardware. Got the handle that stops the great from going up and down. We've got the hanger piece. And then we've got the circular piece that hangs on the rim of the Weber 22. You'll need three tools. A number 10 metric socket, a good pair of pliers and a nice fat Phillips head screwdriver. For this first step you will need these tools with these nuts with this bolt with this screw head pattern. First step stand main frame over top of the bolt holes that are on top of the circular bolt hole. Put Nut and screw in place and hand tighten first one in. Go ahead and do that for the second. And go ahead now. Tighten it down. Step number two is for the spindle with a little stopper and the screw. There's two holes, one big, one small. They're on both sides. It doesn't really matter which side you go ahead and put them in on. Go ahead and put your coupling in on. Put your bolt in place now. For step number three, you will need the handle to stop the crank. One nut, one bolt, your pliers, and your 10 millimeter socket. Put the handle there. Put your bolt through the hole. Put your nut on the other side. Don't tighten it up all the way or else it won't move. There we go. Just like that, the handle's on. Step four, put your spinner handle. You need your 10 millimeter wrench, your pliers. I think it came with two washers, but I lost one, bolt, and your nut. There's a little bitty hole right here on the end. Put it on flush with it. Put your washer on the screw. And you tighten it up all the way down. Step five, you got your two sets of wires and a pair of pliers. On the spindle, there are two holes. This is for you to hang the wires. Put 
put the nut, the screw in, and then you go ahead and put the nut on top. Screw in place. Just screw it all the way down. Step six, the rack. Slide it in one way here, one way there. Just in just like that. Pull it up some. Slide it in up there. Slide it in up there. There you go, all set and done. If you like what I'm doing, please like, share, subscribe, comment below. Thank you, have a good day.